Sixties, our final guest and his band Status Quo have sold a staggering 118 million records worldwide with a catalogue of hits that include Whatever You Want, Rockin' All Over the World and In the Army Now. They've remained at the heart of British rock music. Now, fresh from completing the band's latest world tour, the man himself shows no signs of slowing down and is about to hit the road for the very first time on his own with his latest solo album. Oh, please welcome Francis Rossi. Hello, ladies. Hello, dear. Yeah, it's, it is. I do keep going like that. Oh, it's the lovely. ponytail. Oh, it's much nicer now. Yeah. Everybody yeah. wants to yeah. feel yeah. it. It's lovely. No one wanted to feel mine before. Now no. they do. It's no, nice. we all want to feel it. Yeah. I spent do, do three you feel like days a different man without working it? out how not to kiss everybody. How are you going to do it? And they tell me you don't do that anymore. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Kissing. I'm trying to work it out. Which one to go first? Which is the right way? Oh, don't they... worry. We're not easily offended. No. no. Well, I do watch. Do watch. I do watch. And occasionally you are. But you've been away for a while because you've been out on the road touring again with Status Quo. In fact, you almost didn't. Made you kick back after the volcano yeah, we last got week, stuck didn't in you? Russia, yeah, that was quite uh, horrific. It's, How'd you get uh, home then? Uh, eventually, after maybe we're going to get a train to Warsaw, and then someone to someone you need different visas. But eventually, they got us out on a private. Shouldn't say that on a nice airplane, and we got got into Stuttgart, and I actually <laughs> kissed the ground in Germany. I don't believe that. Really? It was that marvellous to be there and be out of uh, any Russians here. <laughs> <laughs> it's shite there, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> for the bad language Sorry there. about that. It's not nice. Uh, Sorry about that. It's yeah. not nice there at all. And I'm sure there are many fine features that Russia has to offer. <laughs> <laughs> you know you that's not true. Vodka for a start. My daughter, yes, one of my daughters, she's, um, she's the little one, although she's the eldest, and her it's younger sister's tall. Well, I suppose, nepotism. Yeah, yeah, I think you have to. We have yeah. to, yeah, they have, have to. Some people yeah. think it's easier for offspring, and I don't think it necessarily yeah. is. Well, yeah, you, you're out on the road touring with her as well. She's going to come out and support you with her band, is yes, that right, Bernadette? Yes, the Bee in the North, Bernadette in the yeah. North, I believe. You've got yeah. eight kids, I had no idea. You are fertile. Eight? <laughs> like 16 full minutes, isn't it? <laughs> 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 you remember. Oh, it was, it wasn't him. <laughs> The wife's watching this movie. <laughs> oh. no, I mean, that, that's, um, that's an awful lot of kids to keep you um, around. It is. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> so, how does it work with Bernadette? She comes out on the, the road with you and works with her band? Yeah, whenever I can, I try and put her in with, the, with shows that she can do, but it's extremely difficult. She lives in Canada, and it's extremely difficult for anybody in Canada to get underway in this business, particularly. Well, you know what I'm saying, but it's, so, yeah. it's really hard work. And so, Nepotism rules. If I can put her in, I will. Oh, it's not what you know, it's who you know, isn't it? That's the old adage. <laughs> she knows me. Well, she knows <laughs> That's you. a lot of good, wasn't it, really? Yeah. Yeah. We, we were talking to uh, Stephen Lang earlier about, and there's always this discussion, you know, would you leave your ch children money to help them or would you not? Do you know this thing about people say, oh, I'm gonna let, mm. they've got to do it themselves, or what do you feel about that? Well, kind of both. They get so much of me out when they're here. I do work out how much each one's head. <laughs> yeah, no, don't we all? Can and make you, it fair? <laughs> well, I also think, I don't know what... In the 60s generation thought we were going to look after our kids, they were going to have everything. And I don't know now what my children are going to aspire to. They live very well, everything they need, they've got. So it's very difficult to see what they're going to aspire to. I just hope they do well. How are you mm. talking about money? Because, I mean, you must be loaded. Lots of it. Yeah. <laughs> do you like talking about it? I don't mind talking about money, that whole thing... you've sold 118 million records, is that right? So have I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People say we shouldn't be uh, talking about money like that, but I, don't, I wouldn't... I don't know anybody that would get up in the morning if it wasn't for money. And yeah. It's other people. I think it's extremely rich, say, that you know that we shouldn't talk about money like that. Well, you've got loads. I nearly said that word again, didn't mm. I? Yeah. <laughs> I won't be on here but too But is, is it good to be rich beyond your wildest dreams? I mean, we'll never know, I doubt. Very I'm much. rich beyond my wildest dreams, but it's nowhere near the kind of rich that we hear about these days, those billionaire, multi-millionaires and mm. billionaires. It's ridiculous kinds of money, yeah. But it must be lovely to wake up in the morning and know that you don't have to go to work. It's completely I don't know what choice. that's like just yet. No? no? What motivates you, though? I mean, the music, obviously, but, you know... Insecure little show-off. It really? Oh, I think so, I really do. I, 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 
just before we're going on, you know, about time to get dressed before the show, mm -hmm. at that point, you give me any excuse and I'll leave it. However, as soon as we've done it, I'm elated that I've done it. Or if we cancel for whatever reason, I'm like, yes! And then half an hour down the road on the bus, you think, I would love to have played tonight. You have yeah. this beautiful yeah. memory of it. Yeah. And how does it differ going out on your own and touring without the band? Because you've only done one solo record before, and that was 14 years ago. It's a long time, yeah. I don't know. I'd never, I'd never been on, on stage with anybody else. I was the only person not to join the band I'm in, so it's kind of strange. But when I, at rehearsals, I very much look forward to it. When I wake up at two in the morning for that, you know, what we say, two in the morning becomes a problem, becomes a whale. By, by nine in the morning, it's a little sprat, you know. So I wake up in the middle of the night thinking, I can't do this. Why did I do this? And it's because he's an insecure little show up and wants mm. to be noticed. Does Rick um, mind you going out on your own? He hasn't said so, and uh, it's something I've been trying to do since I was about 22, I think. And he's probably glad to get rid of you, to yeah, be honest. <laughs> I knew it it's like a marriage, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. I really knew it. Well, talking it. of marriages, yours was um, yours oh. started under exceptional circumstances. You, you, this is your second wife. You're married yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, she's watching. And um, yeah, you met Eileen <laughs> um, mm. and and wooed her under really unusual circumstances. Do you want to kind of explain what they were? She's vicious that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, uh, oh. she was known by my family, people in her family, and uh, I first met her in 1973, and I sort of shook hands and said, "Lovely, what a nice girl. Goodbye." And I was off, and then I... Uh, that was at Butlins, wasn't it? Gave us a break. <laughs> was, that the first 73. One? Oh, was that the first one? Oh. Oh. Sorry, I'm getting confused with all You're your You're a eyes. different page, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I know I am, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking about those two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then she came to stay at my house. She knew my mother, my dear departed mother. And um, she knew her, and again, I really... Was, uh, Loved being around her and talking to her and being with her, but I was with another girl at the time, and off I went for some more of that. And then, in 1988, I realised that uh, men she have two good well. eyes and they don't use them all the time, do they? Mm. And uh, I went to see her and said, why don't you come and live with me? And if it works, we'll be fine together. If it doesn't, we've still got to be enough house you could live in. And by the it time didn't she work, was married... and she lives in the corner of the house now. <laughs> She was married to somebody else and four months pregnant. You're vicious. Yes, yeah, she was. Six oh, months yeah. pregnant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but so, so you, you still pursued her and said, I don't care, I, I love was, you. And I, I was going you. around in between peaceful. marriages and I'll never marry again. And if I could find somebody nice, I'd have no problem taking on somebody else's child. And I got exactly what I asked for. Mm. Someone else here who's a fabulous boy, actually. Fabulous oh, boy. That's lovely. And you're, uh, it sounds like you're very happy now. I'm very. All these years later. Apart from... Right. The nerves of the solo. Yeah, the nerves of the solo. Well, the best of luck for that. And Thank it's been you. really lovely to talk to you Thank today. You. Thanks for coming in. Francis Rossi. Thank you. Thank you.